Before watching South America landscape of a continent, think about this. How do climate zones in South America influence its cultures and natural resources? From its northern shores to its southern tip, South America is the fourth largest continent and more than 300 million people call it home. Most of these people live in urban areas. Outside of the cities, there are huge areas of land in which very few people live. South America spans diverse climate zones, vegetation regions, and topography. The people, the plants, and animals here have adapted to environments of extreme variation. Running the length of the continent's west coast, the Andes soar to 20,000 feet in some places. They separate the coast from the rolling plains to the east. The Native Americans living in the Andes raise llamas and alpacas, whose wool keeps them warm in the high mountains. They weave the wool into blankets and rugs that are used not only by the local people, but are shipped all over the world. Most of South America is in the southern hemisphere below the equator. South of the equator, summer stretches from late December to late March, and winter from late June to late September, just the opposite of the seasons in the northern hemisphere. In South America, you'll find a wide variety of climate zones, from tropical, to Arctic. Tropical climates are hot and wet. The Amazon rainforest, the world's largest rainforest, is in a tropical climate. This huge rainforest spans the equator, running through much of the northern third of South America. At its center is the Amazon River Basin. The temperature in this area averages about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't forget your umbrella. It rains here nearly every day. Second in length only to the Nile in Africa, the Amazon flows 4,000 miles from Peru through Brazil. Its extensive system of tributaries carries more water than any other river and drains an area that is more than two million square miles. It is home to astonishing varieties of fish, including the deadly piranha. It also provides the only access to the interior of the dense rainforest. The Kayapo Indians live near the Amazon River in Brazil. This dance celebrates the abundance of manioc, a starchy plant that is a staple in their diet. Manioc thrives in the warm, wet climate of this area. Dry climates, like the Atacama Desert of Chile, are hot and arid they receive little rainfall. Because weather systems move from east to west here, the Andes block rain from reaching this region. Little vegetation grows in the Atacama, but the land is rich with mineral deposits. Copper mines dot the landscape and are Chile's most valuable natural resource. Humid subtropical climates have hot, wet summers and cool winters. The grasslands of Argentina and Paraguay, called the Pampas, have a humid subtropical climate. 
This area is ideal for growing crops like wheat and soybeans and for raising cattle. South America's geography ranges from cold, high mountains to wet, tropical areas to wide, grass-covered plains. The people who live in these areas have adapted to the climate and the topography. They have also learned to use the resources of their environment, from wool for blankets, to copper for export, to make a living. Now that you've seen South America, landscape of a continent, talk about this. What topographical feature has a major influence on the climate of South America? What topographical features influence the climate where you live?